Daniela Intilli reports. Super Rugby's newest champions are still on cloud nine and understandably a tad dusty after their historic breakthrough. A handful of Waratahs players will now turn their focus to international duty where they're hoping their success will help inspire the Wallabies to break a 12-year Bledisloe drought. Reporter Daniela Intilli is at Sydney Olympic Stadium. Danny, could this be the year that New South Wales finally gets their hands on the trophy? Well, Catherine, they've set the benchmark this entire season and there's a real sense of anticipation tonight could be their night. Uh, let's not pretend because the, uh, the Crusaders have a formidable record against the Waratahs. It's looking like quite a task for the Tars. Oh, Jeremy, it's absolutely intimidating. They hold an 11-game unbeaten run against the Waratahs, including the 2005 and 2008 finals in Christchurch. The Crusaders are gunning for an historic eighth Super Rugby title. And what makes this matchup even all the more intriguing is that neither side has faced each other at all this season. Saints I, I, over Frio, what is cannot, going on? I cannot believe it. Lenny Hayes, Matt, perhaps, they wanted to you know, play tribute to Lenny Hayes after he announced his retirement last week. But Fremantle came into this game having won its past eight games. The Saints were in last, as you know. They were off the back of 11th straight losses, but they completely dominated from the opening bounce. They won by 58 points. Perhaps a bit of revenge on Ross Lyon, their former coach, yeah, who walked out of them a few years ago. But the tumultuous NRL career of Todd Carney could be over after the Sharks tonight sacked their star playmaker over a lewd photo. The photo Liverpool needed their neighbours to stop Manchester City and Ross Barclay's spectacular strike lifted their hopes. Ukraine's Vladimir Klitschko has successfully defended his world heavyweight title after defeating Queensland's Alex Leopai in Germany. The 34-year-old survived four rounds but was knocked down in the fifth. Australia needs four wickets tomorrow to take a 2-0 lead in the Ashes series with England grimly holding on in the second test at the Adelaide Oval. The NRL judiciary will convene tonight to consider a biting charge against Canterbury's James Graham. What with Danielle and Tilly and Daniela NRL, I guess it wouldn't be finals if there wasn't some controversy. That's right. I think Manly did deserve to win, but heartache for the Cowboys and the way it was won. The Sydney to Hobart began in 1945 when a group of Sydney yachtsmen planned a post-World War II trip down to Hobart. 66 years on, and this great race is not only an iconic part of Australian sport, it's ranked among the toughest in the world. Daniela and Tilly is at the SCG with all the details. Well, both Brett Lee and Mitchell Johnson were forced to withdraw today due to illness and injury. ESPN's Daniela Intilli sat down with the winner of seven Grand Slam singles titles. You were named number one two years in a row. Are you at the top of your game? Uh, always room for improvement. Yeah. To ESPN's Daniela Intilli. So the coach has come under some media scrutiny over his selection of overage players. What's your reaction to that? And Cricket Australia will announce squads tomorrow for the upcoming tours of England. Juanita? Thanks, Danny.